All right, this week we're going to look at doing the uh, the basement <clears throat> for your uh, for your your project house here, and um, I've I've made a copy of of mine just so I can you know work in it and show you what uh, what we got going on here. Um, but yeah, starting off here with the level one, what you'll need to do is go to one of your elevation views and then add uh, the datum levels. And it's on the architecture tab right over here, data level. Okay. Um, and remember back this PDF here um, shows you the, the heights. And so we're going to need top of foundation wall, which would be one foot six and a quarter down. Top of footing, 10 foot and a quarter. Bottom of footing, 11 foot and one quarter. So you, you'll need to put those those datum levels in and rename them. And then while we're here, uh, we want to change our, our grids so that our grid lines extend down to the bottom because as it is right now, um, they don't show up, okay? And so if they're not, if they're not showing up in your, uh, in your elevation view, come over here, uh, visibility graphics and go edit annotation categories and scroll down to G's and make sure grids is, is checked or turned on, okay? And so what we'll do is we'll, we'll grab one and you, you remember we pinned it when we created them. So I'm gonna unpin it. And I just wanna grab the end of it and drag it down below that uh, bottom footing level. And then I want to go back and pin it back in place. Okay. And so that pulled both one and two down. If it doesn't pull both, then go ahead and, you know, make a change to number two and pull it down. And now let's go to one of our other views and do the same thing here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, come on. It is not wanting to pull down. There we go. Now let's go back and pin those. Okay, so I pull them down below my uh, my my bottom of footing level, and now I can go to my top of footing plan, which is where we're going to work. Okay, and now my my grids are showing up and I'll get to why we want that in a moment. Okay. So now I'm on my uh, top footing plan. Let's change our scale here to uh, one quarter inch and visibility. Gra uh, that's okay. Um, underlay. Let's go ahead and pull in our first floor level one as our underlay. And let's see, make sure phase set new construction. Okay. Now, one of the issues with the underlay is even when I change my visibility here, to, is it doesn't show, I can't get core when I go to snap to things. So we're going to use the grid to, uh, to place our foundation wall. Okay, and so we've got these things set. So let's go to um, wall. Oh, oh well. Um, I want a foundation concrete 12 inch wall. And it, it just, something's looking weirder here. I don't know. Um, I want it to be eight foot six tall. And location, I, that's, you know, fine. Because the way that, the way that I like to do do walls. Oh, maybe it's right here. Here we go. All right. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, this is what I was looking for. Uh, top of footing, but I want that to be zero. Let's see if this is going to work. It did. Okay. <laughs> Last time it wouldn't work. I couldn't get it to go to a top constraint here. 
So I had to set it unconstrained to give it a height of 8.6. All right, see, yeah, there's the error. Okay. So let's leave that unconnected. 8.6. That changed. Doggone it. Okay, looks like it's going to work now. I, it just is acting weird for some reason. I don't know. But I I typically draw these things. Maybe it's my screen recorder interfering. Okay, and so I'll draw them in, and then I'll, I'll align and constrain. <clears throat> uh, oh. So let's go modify. Align, and I'll choose the grid and the wall, and then lock them. Okay, and then here at the bottom, we can dimension because these were 17, 1. And 18, 1. <clears throat> and you'll come back in and lock those dimensions in place. Okay, now I'm going to pop a, uh, a section view in here just to... Uh, show you what I'm... Because what we want is the exterior of the concrete wall is on our grid. And then you remember our, uh, our frame wall above the exterior side of the core is on that grid line. So the, the siding is actually outside of all that. And that's the way our, our construction method is going to work in this. Um, let me close this down. Okay. <clears throat> and so this, these, I, I'll have to look the dimension up to to pull those back in, but we'll get those in place, and and then we'll apply our uh, our footing that goes around under that. So I'm going to pause the video now, and then, and we'll come back in a moment. 